Cake Day celebration. So let's give a round of applause for everybody that's here today. So as we get started, could I please ask everybody to take their seats, everybody that's waiting in the back, everybody that's on the sides, can I have everybody take a seat? And for those of you guys who are a little bit shy and are waiting in the back rows, could I just have everybody move up? Everybody move up, please. And I'll give a minute for everybody to take their seats. This will be my fourth year, so hopefully you guys aren't getting tired of me because I'll probably be back next year, as I hope all of you guys will. So, as you guys heard, um, there was a very nice introduction for this event done by uh, Vulcan de Fogu, which is this band that was just here. Can I have a round of applause for them? So this band, every year they're here, and we have just kind of dedicated them to be the Cape Verdean Association official band. Every time we come up and ask them to do something, they're always available and they're always here. And I just want to recognize them for always being here and always volunteering their time for us. So one more time, give them a round of applause. You're going to hear them throughout the day and as they prepare their beautiful music for us. So, as we get started with our event, I would like to call up Nathan Mendez and Pedro Ferreira from the Boy Scouts of Brockton for the posting of the flag. Everybody please stand. Next I would like to call up Jesley DeVega for the singing of the American National Anthem.
e eu acompanho com nós e eu fico com nós nesse momento que anjos e nós estamos no rolo de que Espírito Santo o Senhor está com nós de que tudo quanto que fazer tudo fazer tudo para a honra e glória do Santo Nome e eu fico com nós durante esse momento tudo que te pedi te agradeço Senhor no nome do Pai do Filho e do Espírito Santo eternamente Amém
Thank you for, for allowing me to speak for a moment. And I want to thank our council president, Moses Rodriguez, for inviting me to appear here today. This is a wonderful celebration of a fine man. You know, we're celebrating in these days Martin Luther King's 90th birthday. He would have been 90 years old. And interestingly, this year, it's 51 years since he died. He died in 1968. So God love him. There were so many years uh, of, of promise that was cut short by the circumstances of 1968. You know, Martin Luther King was very influenced by Mahatma Gandhi from India, and he adopted his, uh, his approach of peaceful resistance. We must peaceably resist what we know is wrong um, in these dark days of the United States. We have a lot of challenges right now. I believe we will get through them by hanging together, by remembering what we all believe in, in, in this country, in the goodness of this country. And I thank you all for being here today to honor Martin Luther King's memory. Thank you. Next up, Mark Lindy, Southeastern School Committee. I didn't think I was going to speak because I'm running the camera, but uh, this is one of my favorite events every year, and the reason it is is because of all of the kids here in the front row. I'd love to hear what you have to say about Dr. King and his nonviolent message, and just as important, like Moses said, to do something on Martin Luther King Day to remember him. He, he stood for democracy for people getting involved, and for people loving one another. So I'm very happy to be here, and I'm gonna go back behind the camera. Next, I would like to call up the Cape Verdean Association President, Nancy Lopes. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is actually my second Martin Luther King event as president and again also one of my favorite events that we do just because of the meeting behind this day and last year I talked about uh, servant leadership right so it was a message for our elected officials around being a servant leader just like Martin Luther King was he was a great leader because he stood for his people but today, I want to talk to the youth in the room, the young people. Um, Martin Luther King was under the age of 40 when he stood up and chose to take on this fight to believe in peaceful protests. And I had the pleasure of hearing Michelle Obama speak last April. And she spoke about the recent attitudes and the recent things going on in our political and social world. And she talked about how young people are so frustrated with our current administration, the acts of certain people. And she talked about how that frustration is actually a blessing because we have a generation that doesn't understand how people can look at each other and not see character, right? We have a whole generation that thinks people are what they do, not what they look like. So it's a blessing for young people, but it's also a call to action. It means that your frustration, the things that make you upset about what people do, when people hurt people, when people fight against people for reasons other than not doing the right thing, we all have a responsibility. And that's what I call on today, is for the young people to take back control and to fight for our, our rights, because it's an immigrant issue, it's a race issue, it's a woman's issue, and we all have a place to fight for what matters to each and every one of us because it's about character and doing the right thing. So on behalf of Martin Luther King today, I empower you all to go out and do great things. Thank you. Were those inspiring words or not? Yes. I honestly feel 
feel like Martin Luther King was just speaking through her right now. Am I the only one that feels like that? That was a wonderful, wonderful speech. And honestly, I would like to say that what she said, we can all take apart from that right now. Because what she said was right. And if we all stop to think and change the way we're doing things, we can all together move forward. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, next up, I don't know if everybody has seen her today, but with us today, we have the president of the NAACP in the Brockton area. So please, Phyllis Ellis, can you come up here and join us and say a few words? Good afternoon. This is my first time coming and I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Moses, and the Cape Verde Association of Brockton for having me here today. As Moses and Jerry said, we celebrated our uh, anniversary for Martin Luther King on Saturday. It was a great event, but any celebration of Dr. King is a great event. Our theme on Saturday was How High is the Mountain, and your theme today is We Live in a Dream. And I can't wait to hear the rest of the program and the message of Dr. King. He was a great man, yes, he was a leader, fighter, and he keep on fighting. He making changes as we are today. So I am looking forward to hearing the rest of the program, and thank you for having me. And I will be back next year. Thank you. So as you guys all know, the Cape Verde Association has an after-school program as well as a summer program. And if, for those of you in the back that might not be able to see, right here in front of us, we have some of the students that participate in the Cape Verde Association after school program. For everyone who participates, can you guys just stand up for me for a second? So these kids today, after weeks and weeks of practice, have something very special for you guys. And I hope that everybody will listen to the words that they say, because these are the words of Martin Luther King, some of his famous quotes. And let me just say, to be somebody in their age, to come up here and say these powering, empowering words, it's not easy. So give them a round of applause now. We'll give them a round of applause when they're done. And I would just like to recognize the kids that are coming up. So first we have Isaiah Byrus, Ricky Mendez, Allie Adams, Xavier Adams, Aisha Lopes, and Marcus Tavares. Can you guys please come up? that help them 
you know, with their homework and just overall just help them in their lives becoming better people and making better decisions. These are the people who volunteer their time at favorite association after school. Some of them are high school students, some of them are college students. So when I call your name, please stand and just be recognized. First up, I see him walking through the door, Fabricio Lopes, <laughs> stopping the way. Jessely DeVega, Natalie DePina, Marcelo Tavares is outside, Leandro Montero, and Marlene Andrade. Can I have a round of applause, please? Next up, for the second appearance, I would like to call up Bishop Tony Branch for the keynote speaker. He is also a part of the Southeastern Committee. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure? <laughs> Caught him on. All right. So please, can we give a round of applause for Bishop Tony Branch? Well, good afternoon, everyone. If we can do one thing, for all the young people that are in the back, if you all can come and take a seat, if everybody can grab a seat if you can. MLK Day is very important, especially in, uh, on today because this day reflects the actual holiday. Thank you, this keeps going down. Can someone fix this? Actually, yeah, I, I'm a long-winded preacher. I probably don't even need that. Thank you. We initially had um, Gene uh, Marrow that was going to actually do the keynote, and he fell ill. So we want to make sure we say a quick prayer for him. Uh, I won't begin to speak until I pray. Young people that are in the back, in your coffee, whatever, y'all come down. Uh, I'm an old school uh, type of preacher, an apostolic, and we believe in discipline in the house of God, and this is the house of God. Amen? Amen. Let us say a very quick prayer. Can you bow your heads? Father God, in the name of the Lord that I serve, Lord, I ask that you bless the occupants in this place, and I ask that you reach out to our original speaker, that he may be blessed and healed in your name. May those in this place say Amen. How y'all feeling today on this cold day? Cold? Y'all feeling cold? Yeah. All right, I'll be about seven minutes so y'all can get out of here. Today's theme is about reliving the dream. Reliving the dream. But the real question is today, are you folks that are in here willing to serve? Look to your neighbor and ask the question. Look to your neighbor and say, will you? Will you? Serve. Y'all on this side, because this side ain't loud enough. On this side, will you? Will you? Sir. Sir. For the Bible tells me, ye are a God. Ye are. Little children, and have overcome them. The Bible says, because greater is he that is in you, that is in the world. Repeat, in me, in me. there is greatness. So today's theme is to talk about the civil rights struggle. And often when we talk about, I belong when the preacher, I don't need this. Often when we talk about the civil rights struggle, we can talk about the negative and the positive. But often when we define the word relive, relive often brings up, am I reliving something in the negative or am I reliving something in the positive? Now when we talk about the past struggles of civil rights, we're not only talking about lynching, we're not only talking about having exit signs of black and of white, we're talking about a struggle not only to bring people from the back of the bus to the front, but we're talking about a struggle of equality. Someone say equality. Equality. Y'all not talking back to me. Someone say equality. Equality. So today we seek to talk about the greatness of Dr. King, his life and his achievement. The, what Moses told me on the telephone is that we should talk about service. Service is often defined as help 
helping somebody. But when it comes to the civil rights struggle, I'm not talking about just helping somebody. So the civil rights movement in America must conform to its creed. And I'm gonna read his creed. It says, to be a perfect union. It says, one that is inseparable, one that established the principle of freedom, equality, and justice and humanity that was built on the patriots of the American dream. If you believe that you're a patriot, say patriot. Now I got a question for you all. Y'all been watching CNN and Fox News, and you recognize and realize that in the midst of the political turmoil in this nation, Dr. King's words must be realized. Dr. King said, now is the time to make the real promises of our democracy. So each and every one of you that have been called to service, and when you see that children have arrived to the border, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you see that they've arrived to the border, and then you find out that they have passed on, gone to heaven. The question about your service, are you willing to serve? Are you willing to serve? Y'all yeah. not being loud about it. Are you willing to serve? Yeah. America, come on somebody, I, I, I told y'all I'll be seven minutes, so I gotta get hyped up. The promises of America always begin in the local. Tim O'Neill said that all politics is local. Do you believe that it's local? Yes. So I'm reminded about a stronger America. A stronger America that is defined by God. Do you believe that? Yes. Y'all not talking back, do you believe that? Yes. So the promises of America is a question of will you serve? Before you begin the process of serving, one must be reminded that God is stronger in you. Do you believe that God is stronger? Yes! Y'all not saying anything on my right side. Do you believe that y'all are stronger? Yes! Secondly, one must define the promise as something that must be focused on. And the promise must be focused on, on dealing with what is me. But always you must begin with America's future generation, which is the children in this place. Do you believe in focusing on the children? Yes! I'm talking to Brockton, Massachusetts. Do you believe in focusing on the children? Yes! Thirdly, you must begin with Dr. King. Dr. King says that every step toward the goal of justice required sacrifice, suffering, and a struggle. It requires the tireless exertion and passionate concern for the dedicated individual. I reject the premise in the city of Brockton that believes that my neighbor is not my friend. I reject the premise in the city of Brockton that believes my neighbor, I can't help him with that struggle. If you believe in your neighbor today, say, I believe in my neighbor. I believe in my neighbor. Talk back to me, I believe in my neighbor. of America. 
America doesn't begin with the Pentecostal preacher. Didn't begin with MLK. It begins in the bosoms of these children. If you believe that, say, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Now we live the dream. Amen. Amen.
Well, 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 you know. I, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm the, <coughs> the manager of the group. <laughs> and the voices and the song, I'm the one who practiced them. What? And showed them exactly how to do this. So, but anyways, uh, we have come to the end of the formal program. I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank every single one of you who came out today in this frigid day. But at the same time, to recognize Brockton Community Cable Access for being here every year to support us. We'll leave you in the back for the things that you do here as well. The Vulcan Band, better known as the Band of the Cape Verde Association. I also want to I want to thank Tufts Medical Plan that actually helps us with a little help that, so that we can afford to uh, buy some of the refreshments and some of the little goodies that we will have. Uh, Brompton Community Cable Access gave us a little as well. Uh, Vicente Tropical Groceries for their help with the food. And of course, the Converting Association for being the catalyst behind this. But before we go, I want to recognize some of the uh, board members who are here today because I think it's important. I've seen Juvieno, Sylvester, Manuel, Joe E. Joe E. Miranda, what's his little name? Because now he's, he's grown up. Before he used to be known as Joey. But now he's grown up, so it's Joe. E. Miranda. Uh, let's see, there was some, um, Zelasso was here as well, and a couple other individuals here. I just saw uh, Senator Michael Brady come in. Uh, Senator, thank you very much for supporting us every year with this. And uh, as uh, we said in the past, we're going to continue doing this no matter how many people show up. No matter how bad the weather gets, we're going to be here. I also want to thank the kids who helped us with the setup. Uh, the two ladies that helped us with, uh, with the, uh, the arrangements. Um, I think it's Maria and Ani and Marlene and those guys that actually have done uh, the Elite. Thank you very much for all your help. And we have some nice goodies that we want you to have before you go home. This program continues because these guys are going to play some beautiful music for us. So let's stay here and enjoy uh, this event in honor of the great man that Martin Luther King was and still is in the hearts and soul of all of us. Thank you for coming and see you all next year. Bye.
थैंक यू भाई